Hello everyone, welcome to Next Gen AI Academy. I hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to start another important OOPS concept that is polymorphism. Definitely, you can expect an interview question from this topic. Till now, we completed what is object, what is class and very importantly, inheritance concept also completed. Now, let's focus on polymorphism okay let's learn this concept with a story and at the end of video we'll show you the real time usage for example at one point of time woman plays the role of being a wife then being a mom and also as an employee for simplicity i just took only three roles here the person remains the same but will have a different behavior in different situation. It means a person at the same time can have a different characteristics. Am I right? Definitely the way they talk as an employee, as a mom, as a wife will vary. But the person remains the same. If you understood this story, then polymorphism is completed. Let's see the book definition. If one task is performed in different ways, it is known as polymorphism. Here one task, a woman performing in different ways. So that is what they call it as polymorphism. Another example, instead of woman, I mentioned man. He will play the role of father, husband and employee. The same person possess different behavior in different situations. So that's what call it as polymorphism. Then programmatically, how to achieve this polymorphism? Another interview question. We can achieve polymorphism with the help of method overloading and method overriding. Two ways we can do it. In this video, let's focus on method overloading. In polymorphism, the method overloading is also called as compile time polymorphism. And definition says if a class has multiple methods having same name but different in parameters known as method overloading. Let me show you with a sample program. Let's create a class package name next in AI polymorphism class name method overloading public static void main finish okay what the definition says here if a class a class this is the class has multiple method having same name but different in parameter okay first let me create one method for simplicity i'm just taking public static method so that we no need to create the object instance int multiply multiplication of two number int a comma int b then formula int result variable equal to a star b it will multiply then we will return the result we already learned how to create the user defined method if you are not understanding this topic please watch that again so this is the one method how to access this method directly we can call because it's a static method so so multiplication of any two numbers maybe 10 into 5 let's execute 10 5 is a 50 we created one method now tell me practically if you are a developer i'm asking you to create a method for multiplication sometimes the user can give two arguments two numbers what if user gives three number like this another 10 will you create a method like multiply of two number then multiply of three number then multiply of four number will you keep on create like that and give a different different name or a common name it can able to satisfy both the condition obviously we will go for a common name that is also the main reason why we go for 
method overloading if a class has multiple method having same name same name i'm just creating the same name just copy pasting it but different in parameters these are all called parameters now i am saying i want multiplication of three numbers so what i will do i'll just update the formula a into b into c when you pass three parameters then also it will work see now when you execute this program what will happen to parameter so during runtime it will choose this method when you run this line here three parameters then it will choose this method let me execute and show you so it is 50 and here it is 500 so now we will see the definition again if a class this is a class has multiple methods multiple methods having same name yes multiply is the same name but different in parameters int a int p int a int p in here 2 here 3 you can make 4 or 5 and this concept is known as method overloading okay let's back to the slide we are done with the definition and ways to achieve method overloading by changing the number of arguments the example which i have seen right now is by changing the arguments so first method with the two arguments again method with the three arguments then by changing the data type what that mean let's back to the program so this one is by changing the number of arguments do by changing the data type of a method okay what if user want to multiply of two number but not integer maybe 3.75 into 5.25 float number it's a float but here it is an integer definitely the program will not work so what we can do by changing the data type of the method same program copy paste what is the data type here instead of int i am making float and make sure all the data type should match if not it will throw the error float float so it's a float then two value we are multiplying then the results will be returned so when we execute this line what will happen we mentioned it as a float and two parameter so it will go to this instead of this so when we execute you can see that output is in the float data type okay what about if someone mention one as a float another one as an integer possibilities are there right let's think mathematically when you multiply any number with a float you will get a float so the priority will be given to this particular float method only let's execute and see here so it went to this one and it consider phi as 5.0 and just passed into this value and finally we got output as 18.75 the two ways we are done and remember it is not possible by changing the return type of method only in short don't change this one different this is float this isn't if you keep changing like that then it will throw the error that's not possible now when we talk about the use it increases the readability of the program of course by seeing this just only one method right same name the readability we are not making method of two integer number method of two float number method of three number that look very ugly but now it increased the readability of the program let's see the real time use of method overloading in our mobile we have a new option to save a new contact number sometimes we will save name with one mobile number sometimes we will save multiple mobile numbers for the same person here the method name remains the same but the number of arguments are different which is nothing but method overloading concept 
hope you got a good clarity about method overloading concept in the next video we will learn about method overriding that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning